Police are appealing for assistance in relation to a break and enter that occurred last night at the Brookside Shopping Centre. At around three o'clock this morning, uh, the shopping centre was broken into by at least three uh, offenders. They've uh, gone directly to the Proud's jewellery store within the shopping centre. They've broken into the Proud's jewellery store and stolen a significant quantity of uh, jewellery consisting of um, uh, gold and diamonds. Um, we're appealing for anyone who may have any assistance that can assist us in solving the crime. I'm pretty certain there are going to be people out there within the community that are going to know our, uh, our suspects and uh, we appeal for them to call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. It looked they... like they knew what they were doing. Oh look, the break and enter was, a, uh, was done very quickly. Uh, it's obviously that the jewellery store was the target of the break and enter. Um, so yes, there was a uh, certain degree of knowledge. How did they get into the shopping centre? Uh, look, I won't go into the precise details, but it's a, uh, a clumsy. They've smashed their way into the shopping centre and smashed their way into the jewellery store. Do you know how much was stolen? I do, but uh, you know, it's not our policy to release the, uh, any sort of um, quantities of values. Significant to say, though, that it, uh, it's a significant um, quantity of jewellery, uh, a concerning volume. Did they get into a safe or anything like that, or was this just uh, a space No, space? they've just broken into the store and they've um, taken what's been in display within the store itself. They smashed the cabinet, so I still Oh, look, I won't go into it, uh, simply to say they've smashed their way in, grabbed what they um, wanted to grab very quickly and they've exited the store. Did they cover their faces? Uh, look, the, uh, the, their faces, they, they have disguised themselves. Um, we will re be releasing some footage um, in, in the hope that it uh, may jog someone's uh, memory, um, but uh, the video footage isn't of a high quality. We have to ask, there's been a few jewellery store breaks in, uh, in the last 12 months. Is this linked to any of them? Look, at this stage it's too early for us to make any um, um, considered um, evaluation of whether these uh, offences are linked. Uh, that's something we're looking into. There have been a number of other jewellery stores across um, South East Queensland uh, involving similar types of uh, method of operation. We'll be looking into that, but at this stage we can't make any comparisons. What do they do? do they, is it likely that a lot of this stuff, as far as jewellery goes, will end up on eBay or anything like that, or do they melt it down with oh, experience? Look, it, I'd only be speculating and I don't wish to speculate. There's a number of ways in which they can get rid of jewellery and you've named two of them. Look, this, this took place uh, very quickly. They were only in the store itself for a couple of minutes. Look, there, there's not much traffic around at uh, 3 o'clock in the, the morning um, uh, in that area, in the Brookside area, and um, we asked that anyone noticed any sort of suspicious vehicles to contact police and uh, no matter how small the information, it's going to assist us. Is there any evidence they'd been into the store previously? Uh, at this stage, it's too early. We're still in the process of uh, examining, you know, previous behaviours and uh, uh, going, people going in and out of the store. Did it look like they had a target in mind? Were they just sort of putting the shells into a bag or...? Uh, no, look, it's, uh, because it's happened very quickly, they had, I'm, I have no doubts they knew what they were looking for and um, they knew where to go to get it. Thank you.